Welcome, my name is Mary and I am the knitting designer and podcaster behind Kino Knits. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Rusitud inlay technique. I've used it here on this cocktail shaker to inlay the numbers 2021. It looks like embroidery and in fact, you could get this exact same effect by sewing afterwards, but this has actually worked as you knit the item. So I'll show you how to do it in this piece. First of all, this inlay technique for best coverage, you're going to want to use a contrast color that is a fatter yarn than the underlying fabric. Another option, which is what I've done here, is just to hold your contrast yarn double. So Rusitud technique relies on a grid. I'm going to be inlaying the numbers 2021 20, and across here I have the stitches on the front half of this cocktail shaker. So to work this, I'm going to work over to the point where I want to start inlaying some contrast color. So I will just knit those stitches. And then the next step is to take my contrast color and I'm going to just lay it across the stitches in between my needles. The tail goes in the back and the working yarn goes in the front. And according to this chart, I need three stitches worth of inlay color. So ignoring my inlay yarn, just for a minute, I'm going to knit three stitches across with my normal working yarn. Then I'm going to drape this inlay yarn and move it from the front back to the back so that it lays across those three stitches. I've then got two stitches plain, so I will knit with my inlay yarn in the back. And now I've got three stitches of color again. So I bring my inlay yarn to the front. Knit three stitches, move it back, knit two stitches plain, move it forwards, knit three stitches, move it back, knit two stitches, move it forward, knit three stitches, move it back, and then finish out this last bit on the front. And so now I have, as you can see, my inlay yarn is just weaving back and forth between my normal knit stitches, my working stitches. And on the front here, I'm gonna stretch out the stitches and just tug on this a bit to get a nice tension. I don't wanna yank it super tight because that will pucker my fabric, but I don't want it loose hanging out there. So again, my tail is here where I started and my working yarn is here. So that is how you do this first row. Now, the second row, or I guess round, I should say, because I'm knitting in the round, gets rather interesting. For normal stranded color work, um, which you could also work this chart in normal stranded color work, if you're going in the round, you have a problem because you come back around to the front, but your working contrast color yarn is here. And that's why I like Rusitud as a technique for doing color work in the round. I'm gonna show you how you do this next round. But first thing, let me just skip ahead really quickly. I'm going to knit all the way around with my main color and I'll see you again once I get back to here. So here I am, I have worked with my working yarn all the way around back to the beginning again. And once again, my contrast inlay yarn is over here on the opposite side of where I need it to be. So I'm going to work over, according to the chart, on the second round over to the stitch where I want the inlay color to start up again. And then, this is where Rusita gets really cool, I'm going to bring my inlay yarn over the top and make just a nice big loop and go from the front to the back in between those two stitches. According to the chart, I just need one stitch in my inlay color, so I'll knit one stitch, and then I will flip this yarn to the back in between those two stitches. 
I then have five stitches till I need it again. So I'll knit those five. And once again, flip it to the front. Knit a stitch, flip back, knit two, flip front, knit one, flip back, <laughs> knit one, flip front, knit one, flip back, knit four, and flip front. Knit one and flip back, and then I will finish to the end. So basically going across this line, anytime I had a dark square, I would bring my contrast yarn to the front and before it, knit that stitch with my working yarn, take my contrast yarn to the back, let it ride along the back for my plain stitches, and so on and so forth. So I have finished out this second round, and I've got kind of this mess of yarn right here, but now my tail is over here, and all I do is I just gently tug to tighten that up. And so here we are. We've done two rounds and my contrast yarn has gone this way and then back this way again. So you'll want to do some, you know, light tugging on this to get it to be an even tension. Um, but now you're going to go around and for round three, you're set up again with your contrast yarn on the right side. You'll weave in and out according to your chart. When you do round four, again, you'll bring it to the front and you'll weave in and out, tighten it up, and then you'll finish out with round five. So this has been the Rusuta technique. I've shown it on this Shake It Off cocktail ornament where I've been inlaying 2021, but you can do this with any sort of pattern. You can do graphic patterns, anything where you have a chart like this, where you would otherwise do duplicate stitch or perhaps stranded color work maybe try an inlay technique instead, especially if you're knitting in the round and don't have the color going all the way around. It's just a small portion. This is an alternative to intarsia in the round as well. So thank you very much. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to these videos. You can find my patterns, including this one, at kinoknits.com shop or in the Kino Knits uh, store on Ravelry. Please sign up for the Kino Knits newsletter at kinoknits.com newsletter for all the latest and greatest news from Kino Knits. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.